it's 2.45 in the morning. Um, I'm still in Stockton. My flight leaves at 7 o'clock, so I need to get to Manchester um, around 6 o'clock at least. Um, it takes like two and a half hours to get to Manchester, so probably get to Manchester around half five if I leave at three o'clock. Um, I checked the weather and it's like 18 degrees um, today, sunny tomorrow, sunny today, rain on Saturday, but it's arid. So once I got to Bulgaria I was a bit worried because at the airport I needed to get a taxi and, and get to Plovdiv but uh, luckily the company had organised a, a driver to pick me up and drop me off to the hotel. This is Christian. He lives in he lives in Plovdiv as well. He was a student in Plovdiv and now he works. Um, he's decided to work in Plovdiv. This is the hotel. That they sorted out. Right, so I'm in my hotel room, uh, finally made it in the Plovdiv. Uh, my flight was from Manchester to Sofia, uh, which is the capital city of Bulgaria. Uh, and then I had to get a taxi from Sofia to Plovdiv. Um, it's, Plovdiv is basically the most popular city for British students to come study medicine at. Um, and so that's why I came to Plovdiv. The company have been really nice to me um, they've, I thought I'd have to look for a taxi and because I can't speak any Bulgarian I thought it'd be a bit difficult but when I got into the airport there was a tax there was a guy waiting for me with my name on uh, so I got picked up dropped off here hotel was ready five-star hotel so it's like the biggest hotel in Plovdiv so so I am extremely grateful for this um, let me quickly show you the hotel so, for some reason they've given us two beds, a TV, a mushroom shaped lamp. Well, this is a shit bathroom for a five star hotel, to be honest. This is the toilet. The plans for today, to be honest, are just me settling in. But I'm gonna go, uh, just me settling in. So I'm gonna go and get some food now, get a universal socket because I've, I've just realized I'm in a different country and they don't have the UK sockets. Uh, and I need to get some food, I'm starving. So, yep, I'll see you guys in a bit.
the practical soldier, here is only for lectures. Ah. The classes will be in different hospitals. So, are these the hospitals? Yeah, very old hospitals. Ah. First time I came here two years ago, <laughs> I really lost myself. <laughs> so that's one hospital there. And another one. Another hospital one. there. And another hospital here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the general hospital, St. George, is and what happens situated in... uh, near the dorms, which is 20 minutes away from here by walk. And what happens in these hospitals? Uh, mostly they're being used by students. For practicals? Practicals, yes. The first and fourth are the biggest one. This is oh, so this smallest. is this is one of the smallest lectures. Yeah, it's, it's used more for conference room, of course, lectures. Okay. Yeah. So basically these are simulation rooms for pregnancy, for cardiac problems or Probably. different, <laughs> so different, so just like in the UK how there's sim man, there is simulation in those rooms. Again here is another lecture theatre. Yeah. And this simulation centre is one of a kind in Bulgaria. Oh, so this is one of the first the first and more and the most modern one in Bulgaria. Ah. So the simulation halls that you just saw are the first simulation centers, or practically the first, um, in Bulgaria. And today or yesterday was the grand opening of these yeah. simulation rooms. So for the next applicants that come, they'll be able to use to use them. Of course, the simulation. They're for students. That's why they build it. And more simulation? Uh, hall number 9 is the same as this one. So another simulation room here. Of course, 3, 4. Another simulation here. Some more. And then another lecture hall. So this is the canteen. Yeah, you can go inside.
So this is a shopping centre. What's your opinion on it? My opinion, I think it's pretty good. It's brand new. You like it? I like it a lot. Is there, are there many shops? Yeah. That's what we're going to Did you come here often? Often. For food mainly, after uni, I'd go up to the food hall. So what is there? Food up there? Yeah, often. Of uh, all this little clothing. So this clothing tiny. down here? Yeah, clothing's all down here. And what about the next floor? Next floor, a bit more clothing and more like gifts and stuff as well. Go on, Kish, explain this to me. You explain your theory. See, it's pretty much all the cast of Nemo nearly. Which one can you find? See, Nemo's there. See? Oh, that one there. The yellow one from... Oh, where's another one? Don't hide it. See, the yellow Apparently, one from... Apparently, there's Dory over there. Yeah, that's Dory there. That's the yellow one from the fish tank in the dentist. Mm. That's kind of See, weird. I only remember Dory. Yeah. Keish, tell me, which one's your favourite shop here? Favourite shop? I'll probably say Victoria's. Victoria's restaurant, that's my favourite. But in terms of shops... Mm. i probably say the sports shop, actually. Ah. Sports clothing is my thing, so... I'll say that's my favourite. 